Okay, Timothy Dixon has a new video out. It's a dream video. And take a guess, if you dare, who he's dreaming about again. You guessed it, Robin Bullock. What is this, like the eighth, ninth video where he dreams of Robin Bullock? And I really don't know why. Well, maybe I do. But Timothy loves to share with his fans, or should I say, he's got this incessant desire to inundate his fans with his dreams about Robin Bullock. It's weird. But at least you'll be relieved to know that in this video, they're both fully closed. Well, so we're told. Because, you know, again, ain't nobody want to hear another dream with two old men walking through heaven buck naked. So for that, I think we should all be grateful. You know, I, I you think Timmy, you think Timmy here would have just stopped posting his Robin Bullock dreams altogether, but he can't, I guess. So we're going to listen to some clips and we'll comment as we go. All right, so we're going to pick this up about midway through. Timothy is right in the middle of telling his dream. Here we go. On the patio of the George Washington Monument stood me and Robin Bullock. We had both arrived together in a transport SUV of the ministries. I had a staff and Robin had a staff. Now, it's very important to recognize the tactics of storytelling. This is not prophecy. This is not a prophetic dream. This is Timothy Dixon's storytelling. The scene is Washington, D.C. Here come the super prophets. They're being transported in this whatever SUV. And behold, it's, uh, it's Robin and Timothy. They get out, and uh, lucky us, they have their Gandalf wizard staffs. So that means they've come armed, right? And again, this is all storytelling. What it's doing is it's painting a visual to the brainwashed listeners that uh, this is an event that's going to happen, and uh, these prophets are the only ones that can solve the problem. And so in the privacy of the fans' homes, they're all cheering at their computers as they you know, see this all happening in their own minds. It's very just demented. We were both kneeling down on the ground, and we both put oh, put our hands out like so on the ground, just placed them both on the ground, kneeling on our knees. And we both <clears throat> on the dirt, and we begin to prophesy. Thus saith the Lord God of Elijah and Moses is what we said. Draw your attention to Thus saith the Lord God of Elijah and Moses. Now, some of you may disagree. This is an important tactic because Timothy wants the listener to know, whether they realize it or not, that he and Robin are just as important, if not more important, than, yes, Elijah and Moses. You know, again, some of you may disagree. But they've said these things before, and so they always incorporate these into their fake stories. It's just silliness, isn't it? These men are nowhere near that level uh, because, first of all, they're liars. They're confirmed false prophets. Notice how they so casually throw around the, thus saith the Lord. If they had any idea of the implication of how much trouble they're in for uttering such blasphemy, speaking things which God hath not spoken. It's truly troubling. We both were saying we stand a witness against the tyrants of our freedom. Now, this is very telling. They stand a witness against the tyrants of freedom. They don't stand in witness for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Not at all. They're standing for their American Donald Trump freedom. That's what this is all about. And this is how you can know that this dream was not from the Lord. If, in fact, he even dreamt this. This is coming out of his own imagination. But, again, it's always just so very telling. Nothing to do with the gospel of Jesus Christ. They want Donald Trump. And that's what this is always about. 
we started speaking, I would speak and then Robin would speak. I spoke and I said this, hold fast the wings of the eagle that rides on the winds of Michael, the archangel of war. Robin spoke up and started speaking in another language. And out of the bottom of the George Washington Monument, it came smoke. And then Robin interpreted what he was speaking. Okay, that's unbiblical. Robin speaking tongues and then interpreting his own tongues. That's completely unbiblical. The words he spoke in front of a large gathering of people that were there that had formed up to pray and prophesy over America. This was Robin's words. It shall surely come forth in the early fall of winter. I will raise up the one that was slain. And out of the ashes of the lying tongue of the serpent shall I raise up freedom. And the serpent shall be revealed. And its head shall bruise my heel. Is what he was speaking. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Well, that's it. That's the big important prophecy dream from Timothy. Him and Robin are delivered to Washington, D.C. in a shiny SUV. They are armed with their wizard staffs. Timothy says incoherent things. Robin says incoherent things. The Washington Monument smokes, and that's it. Meanwhile, the fans who sit in their homes, they cheer as they again are painted this fake picture of their rock star false prophets. And you've just wasted precious time not hearing the true gospel of Jesus Christ, but instead hear a ridiculous story about Moses and Elijah wannabes who will do nothing but fill their pockets with the donations from the gullible fanatics because they have been so thoroughly entertained by Timothy's pointless fantasy dream video, which again will amount to nothing. So what's the real reason for this video? I think we know that. Timothy hopes that Robin sees it because Timothy really, really, really likes Robin Bullock. Disturbing. In John chapter 14, look at verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus Christ is the truth. If you're going to go anywhere with your staffs, with your friends. Tell people about Jesus. Tell what uh, what Jesus did, who he is, and why he's so important in everyone's life. Without him, you shall not see salvation. In Matthew 28, look what Jesus said as he was departing. All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Friends, it is about Jesus Christ. It's not about wizard staffs and Donald Trump and going to Washington and, you know, gibberish. It's about Jesus Christ. Share the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Matthew 24, look at verse 11. And many false prophets shall rise and deceive many. Don't be fooled by Timothy Dixon. Scroll down to verse 24. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect. Don't be deceived by the likes of Timothy Dixon or Robin Bullock. Come to Jesus Christ. Serve him in truth and sincerity and in spirit. Share the gospel of Jesus Christ.